Back at the Summer Series, week four is about groundedness, and it has so much to do with slowing down again. And also, our feet, which is great for yoga because our feet are pretty much the foundation of everything we do. Barbara Brown Taylor tells multiple stories about different ways to walk, learning to walk in the dark, walking so slowly you can barely tell when one foot hits the ground and the other one leaves the ground, um, stories about walking in a labyrinth, um, and we're going to actually do a little walking practice today. So we're also going to do sun salutations as slowly as we possibly can. But we're going to start with Kumbhaka breathing or some breath suspension. Now you should know about uh, this practice and pretty much a, a lot of the breath practices that if you have a uncontrolled high blood pressure or a serious heart issue, these practices are probably not for you. And also this one in particular, it recommends um, not to be done uh, by children who are under the age of 12. So if you're practicing with children, don't have them do this breath. And in terms of intention, uh, the thing about these practices, especially walking meditation, is you don't have to, you don't need to know anything to start. Uh, it's actually the doing that will teach you what you need to know. So along those lines, I invite you to not set any intention and just let this practice teach you what you need to know about yourself or your body or your mind. So here we go. Sit up tall. Just take a few normal breaths, in through the nose and out through the nose. Maybe drop your chin to your chest or move your head around a little bit, just trying to get rid of some tension. So as you settle in, I'll tell you how the practice goes. Essentially, we're going to inhale deeply for the count of five or five seconds, and then we're going to hold at the top of the inhale for 10 seconds, and then just exhale naturally and take a few normal breaths in between. And we're gonna do that five times. So if holding your breath for 10 seconds is too much, then you do it on your own time and do it slower. Just try and inhale and then hold the breath for twice as long as it took you to inhale. So four and eight or three and six. We're gonna go for five and 10. So here we go, inhaling for five. Hold for 10. Just exhale naturally. And take three normal breaths. So when you're ready, we'll go again. Inhale for five. Hold for 10. And just exhale naturally. And then a couple of normal breaths. So eventually you would increase the ratio six and 12, seven and 14. We'll stick with five and 10 today. So inhale for five. Hold for 10. And exhale naturally. Couple of normal breaths. And then two more rounds. So here we go, inhaling five. Hold for 10. Exhale naturally. A couple of easy breaths. Last round, inhale five. 
Hold for 10. Exhale naturally. So not only great for our con concentration, but good for our cardiovascular system. And we're gonna start moving now. So again, that's something you could do every day, five rounds, start to make them longer. So you can stay seated on your block, but we're gonna just get our spine moving, have whatever props you need to do sun salutations, because that's mostly what this practice is going to be. So on an inhale, bring your chest forward, gently arching, and then we're gonna to start to go around in circles. So start to exhale, take it to one side, pull the ribs back. So try and feel like you're scraping the edges of a barrel, inhaling forward, exhaling around and back, inhaling around and forward, exhaling around and back. Go a couple more times on this side. Maybe you're starting to involve the shoulders or the neck and the head as it gets smoother and bigger. And come around in the front and go the other direction. So inhale forward and around, exhale back. Try and keep your hips grounded. Noticing all the tight places and exhaling into them two more times this side. the center. I'm going to rock back on our hips and just do a little boat pose to engage our core. So keep your chest lifted. Maybe your fingertips come forward. It's nice, steady breath. Quiet mind. On an exhale, sweep your heels to one side so you're sitting up on one hip. You can sit up on a block if you need. Get really, really tall. Just an easy twist away from your feet. And then swing your feet around again back to that boat pose. So pull your low belly in, shift onto your pelvis. Stay lifted. And long, arms strong. One more deep inhale. And exhale and take your easy twist to the other side. Sit up tall and go away from your feet. And release, come on to all fours. So set yourself up in the top of your push up plank. So if you'd rather be doing this with a chair, go ahead and do that. Have your hands on the chair, just make sure it's on a nice, stable surface. Take a breath. And then lift your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Maybe you want to walk your dog and get some motion going. And then bring yourself to your version of a forward fold. And soften the knees, bring your hands to your thighs. So just an easy chair pose, get those quads going, thigh muscles. I'm sitting into my heels. And then sweep your fingertips up in the air and exhale your hands to your heart center. So in this, in these sun salutations, we're gonna do, uh, we have the option of doing warrior one, warrior two, triangle pose. You can stick with one pose if you like, or you can try a sun salutation with um, 
follow along with the three of them. I'm gonna do warrior two first, and then warrior one, and then triangle. So um, we're also gonna go slower and slower. So remember that um, you know your warrior two. Your if my hands are my feet, your heel to arch alignment with the toes pointing out, and maybe your you know a real wide straddle. So that's different than warrior one alignment, where you want some space between your heels. Think of the base of my palms as my heels, and then the back toes will be uh, out, rotate outward diagonally, right? And your hips point forward, like towards your toes or your fingertips. So just a reminder about the different alignment of warrior one and warrior two. And we'll do warrior two first. So I won't be your mirror because it gets too confusing with the lefts and the rights, but we'll start with the right leg going backwards on these sun salutations. So the first one, we're gonna do one breath for each um, pose, right? So um, we inhale, we get long, we exhale, we fold, right? So inhaling arms up, exhaling to soften and find your forward fold. Then we come to a half forward fold, inhale, make your spine long again, exhaling, use whatever props you need, take that right leg way back in high lunge and turn the heel down and inward. Right, so your inhale is to come to warrior two, and then your exhale brings you back to the mat, top of a push-up. Inhale, your plank on the knees or the toes. Exhale, chaturanga, hips down last if you can. So even if you're holding on to the chair, just a gentle upper back bend, inhaling cobra, use your legs, exhaling forehead to the mat. Reverse your push-up, inhaling, your version of plank, and exhaling, downward facing dog. So inhale that right leg up, just bringing it forward to finish the flow, exhaling, lunge on the right, low or high, doesn't matter which one. We're gonna come all the way half forward fold here, right where you lengthen your spine on your inhale, and exhale, hang like a rag doll. Then inhale, reverse your dive, and exhale, hands to the heart. So do the same thing on the other side, inhaling, arms up. And exhaling, dive. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, soften the knees, take the left leg back in high lunge. Warrior two, turn the heel down and inward. Inhaling, shoulders over the hips, facing the long edge of your mat. And then exhaling, lift that back heel, pull the low belly and right back to the mat high lunge, then inhale, top of a push-up plank, exhaling, chaturanga, inhaling, cobra, exhaling, forehead to the mat, reverse your push-up, inhaling, plank, and exhaling, down dog, left leg up in the air, inhale, up, exhale, knee into the chest, so you can find your high lunge, so that we can come all the way to half forward fold, back foot meets the front, inhale, crowning the head out long. Exhaling, hang. Reverse your dive, inhale, arms up, and exhaling your hands to your heart. So you can stick with warrior twos if you want, but I'm gonna insert a warrior one into these and we're going to go more slowly. So we'll still fold on the exhales, but we'll take a breath in between in each pose. So inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, stay in Tadasana. Inhaling, get tall again. Now we exhale, forward fold. Stay here, inhale. And exhale. Then inhale, fingers on your knees, cry on the head out long. And stay here, exhale. And then stay here, inhale deeply. And exhale, folding over, take your right leg back in high lunge, but not as far as warrior two, and the toes point down and inward with some space down the middle of your mat for your heels. So your next inhale is gonna bring you to warrior one. You always hold on to the chair or the wall. Stay here for your exhale. Inhale, get longer. 
and then exhale, fold forward. Stay here, inhale, and exhale. You do a little hamstring stretch if that would feel good. So your next inhale brings you to the top of your push-up. Plank on the knees or the toes, using the chair or not. Exhale, stay where you are. Inhale, get long. And exhale, float the knees down or stay on your toes. Chaturanga. This is like a little mini Shavasana, just stay here. Inhale. And exhale. Now we inhale, gentle cobra, or maybe you're ready for an up dog. So you're gonna stay where you are in your exhale, make it about the upper back. Then inhale deeply. This time, exhale right to downward facing dog. One breath here, inhale. And exhale. Stay where you are, inhale again. And exhale. Now on your inhale, your right leg's gonna come up just to bring us forward, finish our flow. Exhale here. Now you're gonna inhale all the way to half forward fold and stay where you are. Exhale. Upside down L, quads firm. Inhale deeply. Exhale, find your deep forward fold and stay there. Inhale. And exhale. And then reverse your dive, any trips up in the air. Inhale into Tadasana, stay long. Take your exhale where you are. Inhale deeply. And exhale your hands to your heart. And again, inhaling arms up. So really slowing down, right? Stay where you are, exhale. Inhale deeply. And then exhale, fold forward. Stay here, inhale. And exhale. Now half forward fold. Inhale. Fingers under the knees. Stay where you are. Exhale. Inhale. Find some more length in the spine. And then exhale. Soften the knees. Take the left leg back in those warrior one feet. So root those feet. Space between the heels. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up for warrior one and stay here on your exhale. Inhale, get long. And then exhale, hands to the mat. Take a breath. Your next inhale, you find your version of plank, knees or toes. Exhale here. Inhale, spread those backs of the shoulder blades wide, squeeze the upper arms together. And then exhale, chaturanga, down to the mat. Take your little mini shavasana, you can even let your forehead rest on the mat. Inhale, and exhale. And then inhale, your cobra or up dog. Stay where you are, exhale. Inhale, get longer. And then exhale, right to downward facing dog. Take a breath. Then inhale your left leg up in the air, just so we can finish the flow. Exhale, knee into the chest, plant the foot. And then inhale, half forward fold and stay there for your exhale. Then inhale, get long. Exhale, hang like a rag doll. Enjoy this nice juicy forward fold. Inhale deeply where you are. Wiggle around if it would feel good. Exhale deeply. Reverse your dive. Root those feet. Root to rise. Inhale and fingertips up in the air. Stay where you are. Get taller. There's your exhale. Then inhale again. And bring your hands to your heart center. So really slowing down. We're gonna to go to three breaths. So I'm gonna do triangle. You're welcome to do warrior two or warrior one. We're gonna start with the left leg back again. So stick with it. 
right? Just stay open to whatever it is the practice is teaching us. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, stay. Stay again for another full cycle. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale again. And super slowly, swan dive forward, exhale. Check in with your feet, so rooted. Hang here for two breaths. Inhale again. Exhale again. Long extended half forward fold. Inhale, long spine, fingers under the knees. Pull your low belly and tuck your tailbone. Exhale. And again. Another deep inhale. And exhale, hang, take that right leg way back and high lunge. I'm setting up for warrior two. I mean, uh, warrior two feet, same as triangle, right? So on the inhale, I'm going to come up. Exhale here. Inhale. This time, exhale, soften your knees, and we're going to inhale into triangle. So inhale, rib cage goes toward the knee, long through the spine. And exhale. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale one more time. Your exhale is going to lift your back heel and take you back to high lunge so that we can transition to the top of our push up plank. Inhaling. Stay here for two cycles. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. Now we go down to Chaturanga, exhale. Find your little mini Shavasana, two breaths. Another full cycle. And on your inhale, find your cobra or up dog. Two cycles. Inhale deeply, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Find your full expression of your dog. Inhaling deeply, exhaling softly. Inhaling deeply, exhaling softly. Right leg's going up in the air, just so that we can find our high lunge. Finish up. Our next pose is half forward fold, so bring it all the way to the upside down. Inhale. Stay here, exhale. Long back of the neck, lots of space between the shoulders and the ears. And inhale up into Tadasana. Stay here for a breath. One more inhale. And exhale your hands to your heart center. We have one more side. Stick with it. If your mind wanders, you notice where it goes. Inhaling Tadasana. Two rounds here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And then dive forward on your exhale, nice and slowly. Two full rounds here. Did you see that? I scratched the back of my calf. I couldn't resist the urge to scratch. One more deep inhale. Exhale, stay with your practice. Your next inhale is half forward fold. What do you notice in your body? Stay again. Firm quads. One more deep inhale. Your exhale softens the knees, takes your left leg back, setting up in those warrior two feet. Firm up your feet. So you can bring your shoulders over your hips, facing the long edge of the mat. 
So inhale, get long. Exhale, soften your knees, and we're going into triangle pose. So hand on the thigh, or maybe the shin, no weight in the knee. Inhale, make a lot of space. Take up a lot of space. Stay here. One more deep inhale. And then your exhale is going to soften, lift that back heel. Transitioning to the top of your push-up plank. So when you're ready, here's your inhale. Two rounds. Stay here. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Then inhale deeply. And exhale. Chaturanga down to the mat. Find your little mini Shavasana. Another full breath. And then your next inhale is your back bend, cobra or maybe up dog. Stay light wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Find your downward facing dog. Again, nice deep expression of the pose. Just being fully present where you are. And then left leg up in the air. So you can transition to lunge, preparing to bring yourself to a half forward fold. So when you're ready, inhaling, last upside down L. Exhale. One more full round, inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhaling into your last forward fold. Maybe nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Finish with yes. Next, inhale is going to take you to Chavasana. Arms up in the air. Can you stick with it for a couple more breaths? Find some length. Feel your strength. One more deep inhale. And then exhale your hands to your heart center. Well done. Slowing down. It's not easy, right? So I got this little timer here. Oops, sorry, this little uh, egg timer. We're gonna do this just for, this is two minutes. And so it's gonna be a walking meditation on your mat. So here's the deal. It doesn't matter uh, whether you walk 10 lengths of your mat or half a length of your mat, or if you just want to stop, not walk, and watch me walk. You figure it out what you need from the practice, right? So you want to just go as slowly as you possibly can. I'm going to start at the back of my mat. And I'm gonna start my step with like a tree pose with just the knee forward. There's your inhale. Maybe you exhale. Can you suspend your breath just before you change your weight? How slowly can you transition from one foot to the other? Noticing the knee rising The leg straightening. Just if we're not about where we're going, the heel, the arch. When did that back heel lift? All five toes taking their time going down as the back leg lifts. Feel the moment when the back toes come off the ground. Slowly bringing the knee up. That balance. Use your drishti if it's helpful. And you slow down even more. Or is it hardest to slow down? Just keep moving. Slowly, slowly, slowly. 
and noticing. Do you notice anything else in your body? Anything funky going on with your fingers or your shoulders? Or your stomach? Or your breathing? One more step. Right back to where we started. And you're done. Bring your hands to your heart center. Right back into Tadasana. Feel your feet rooted. It's interesting. I don't know about what you feel in your body, but I feel like a, like that was almost Shavasana. So we're going to come to seated for just a moment. Close your eyes. Sit up tall. You can sit in a chair or you can stay standing. So maybe today resting your palms facing down on your knees, feeling your groundedness. Again, eyes closed, maybe roll your shoulders up, back and down. This quote from Barbara Brown Taylor, the body is a great focuser. Whether the means is pain or pleasure, the body is a great reminder of where we came from and where we are going on the one sacred journey that we all make, whether we mean to or not. Which reminds me of something I've been saying quite often lately, that getting old is not for the faint of heart, but it's also a privilege that not everyone gets. So on the inhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Exhaling, bowing your head to your heart for the privilege of still being on the journey. Thanks for sharing it with me. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Namaste.